hey guys welcome to this next video and before we get started um the reason why i didn't do any other updates for the past few weeks actually was because at first i was gone for a few weeks on holiday and that was pretty awesome and uh, the next part was that i released my new book it's boxing for self-defense you can get it on amazon and in other places so I'll, I'll give you guys a link in the description so if you want to support my work that's easy buy the book and that, that helps out a lot now, getting that published took up all my time, uh, so I didn't have anything to spare for the making and creating these videos for you guys. So that's now over, and I can get back to the regular schedule of releasing these videos. And I will be go over, going over the previous events uh, in the UFC that we kind of missed. So I'm going to start with this first one here, and uh, that is pretty much that uh, UFC Fight Night Joanna versus Watterson that it's also called UFC Fight Night 161 or UFC on ESPN Plus 19. For some reason, nobody really knows. The UFC keeps on insisting on doing all these funky, funky name changes and so on. Anyway, moving on. So what we saw in the fight, it was a pretty grueling fight. You saw Davies uh, being very, very aggressive and, and hitting really hard. And Thomas Gifford, gotta give it to the man, guys got hard. But he took quite a bit of damage. Now, one of the keys to this knockout is that Mike, he threw a lot of uh, left straight, so a lot of beautiful jabs and then some long lead hooks, and he would follow that up uh, in different ways. Uh, for instance, he would throw the, the leg kick right after and so on. So he was setting this uh, scenario up for this knockout consistently throughout the fight. Again, setting it up, meaning he was prepping his opponent to react a certain way to that left hand coming in but at the same time keeping it unpredictable because Gifford didn't know what was going to come next. It's going to be the right hand, it's going to be the leg kick, who knows? Is it going to be a jab? Is it going to be a long lead hook? Again, watch the fight again. You'll see that the left arm of, uh, of Davies was used very effectively. Now, um, right before the sequence here, so what we have is that we, we just saw Mike take a step back here and we see that Thomas is stepping forward. That's what happened before. Now, the thing here is that see he's walking forward he throws this kind of funky up kick uh well up kick snap kick you however you want to call it it didn't really make much of a dent or anything it didn't really land at all but he steps forward afterwards now you notice that from here you see david's backing up again again he's maintaining range so he's maintaining the distance between them so that thomas can't really get uh get a good setting point starting point sorry so he backs up again and then we see the first thing that we're going to see is charging in with that long lead hook again and and that one connected quite well so i'm going to skip forward to that part so we'll see that he's going to set and then charge in so you see a little bit of a duck down first so i'll go back so a little bit of a duck down first and that loads up your legs and you can spring off them and then we see this really nicely placed long lead hook coming in and i'll see if i can pause it just at the wrong time so he's turning the knuckle over um i don't always you know like that kind of technique but everybody's got his own thing so the least that we can say is that you can see it lands here see and you see the head snap back so we got a very nice long lead hook coming in and and just the, the impact is well done you can see that Gifford is here with his leg up in the air and he's got nowhere to go. He's just taking that shot. So that is the that is the setup. So and then they break. Okay, and this is smart. We see that Mike is taking a step back as Thomas uh, steps back as well to basically clear the cobwebs and try to get something going again. And this is this is the hallmark of experience. Is don't just rush in. There are numerous, numerous fights in which that guys, they land a punch or a kick and then they just rush forward and run into a counter. Don't do that. That's amateur stuff. That's beginner stuff. You need to always be calm and collected. You can be violent in the sense that you can be extremely aggressive and put up a high pace. But rushing forward, again, that is what beginners do. So Mike doesn't. He's really smart about this. Takes his time, steps back and then waits for the second moment, which he knows will come. So I'm going to fa go fast forward a little bit. So he steps in here. A nice thing that I liked is that there's a little bit of movement here with the left shoulder that kind of makes it look like a long lead hook again. So it kind of looks like he's going to swing it. I'll go back here so you can see it better. 
So you see a little bit of movement of that left shoulder looks a little bit like it's going to rotate and it looks like that left arm is going to swing uh, inward again. And then all of a sudden you can see that he turns it into that straight punch and see how that lands. That's beautiful. So that's a well-placed jab and he sits totally in. You can see that Gifford bought that uh, that idea that it was going to be a left hook because if you watch what his right hand does you'll see that that one goes up and it covers against that what he think is going to be a left long lead hook doesn't and this obviously then leaves the center line wide open and then that jab can power through so it's a little bit tricky to set that up if you do it right it lands if you don't do it right you get counter yourself so that's the first part so you see that Mike throws that and again, this one lands really well. He's stepping forwards, a lot of strength in that. So that's great. And you see that, I mean, <laughs> Thomas, I mean, poor guy. He'd, he'd been taking such a such an amount of abuse, physical abuse during the the, the fight already. So and, and that shot lands real well. And then we get to the next part where Mike immediately rotates in. And again, you can see several things in, this, in the second angle I'll show you in a bit. You'll see him stepping forward and then the rotation of the upper body is, uh, is significant. So he, that's a lot of power coming in right there. And this is a moment of, moment of impact. And we see Mike, uh, Mike just recovers, comes a little bit back to his own guard position, which is, again, good tactics, good training. But we see that Gifford, he's just, I mean, guy's just out. He's, he's completely knocked out. So let's take a look at the next part. Again, this is uh, this is the victory, uh, well-deserved. So let's look at this different angle. So I want you guys to focus here on that left shoulder and the position of the left hand. So we can talk about, you know, uh, different ways of doing this, but in this case, there's no argument. It worked. Davis did, it, did an excellent job here. So just watch that shoulder. Notice how it twitches a little bit, but notice how then his fist here is going to come up as opposed to around, and then that turns it into a jab. I wouldn't say this is perfect technique, obviously. There's better ways of throwing a jab, so it has more power, but it is more the, the fainting, um, well, no, let's not call it a feint. It's more setting up that idea that he's going to throw the long lead hook again to make sure that Gifford covers the wrong spot, namely the side of the face where the jab is going to go for center line. So that's what he does here very well, and you'll see that here the jab is going to come forward, See, and it launches, he's in, and notice the reaction of the of the head. I mean, you can see that Gifford here, his head snaps back, and that's all in. That's really well done. So from here, you can see that Gifford is just stepping back, and, and the guy seeing all the little, little Tweety Birds and stars, he's totally out of it, um, and he doesn't have time to do anything next. And then we see, again, you guys know by now that I don't like this. I prefer to have the hands high, but, you know, it is what it is. This is one of the most common things that people get, especially in the third round when you're tired. So no worries about that. Um, but what he needs now is a straight shot going in. And that's what comes, comes next. The second part I want you to focus on is you can see it well, but what you'll see is that Gifford is in more or less of a bladed stance. So what you have is pretty much a straight line between... Oh, got a that's wrong a straight line between both shoulders and mike is right in front of that so he's got he's got only the left hand to protect himself uh thomas and that's not going to be enough given that the first punch is the first jab here kind of rotates him a little bit away from his opponent so that leaves him pretty much wide open and exposes the side of the face and we'll see in the next part here you see the rotation the pullback of the left arm from mike rotation of the upper body and you can see that, again, notice the hand position, notice the left hand position, so that means that the target is wide open. Second part, you can see that the direction that Gifford's chin is pointing at is slightly off to the side. That means that if the punch lands, it's going to rotate the chin, which is one of the ways you create a knockout. So Mike set that up perfectly, and we'll see, again, as he strikes, notice that impact here, and see how far the rotation of the chin uh, is, is happening here. So that's the main point, the rotation of the chin or the head in general, but the chin is a good point to rotate the head and create that knockout effect. That's what creates the power in this blow. So, and then he goes down and he is pretty much shot. I mean, you could tell that the guy was, was just out of it. There was no need to go any further. So that's it, guys. Um, this is some. This is the classic one-two. This is really well done by Davis. Um, the whole point that I want you to take away is that it's it's the, how it is done in combination with everything that came beforehand, 
Mike used his left hand extensively in a variety of ways, and then he plays this one too perfectly. Now, a lot of respect to Thomas Gifford. I mean, that was a hellacious fight, and he kept going for as long as he could, but it's pretty hard to take such a shot like this, just this one to just combo from hell, basically, that both punches land real well. You know, lesser men would have gone down as well. So, a lot of respect to uh, both fighters, and uh, I will keep the videos coming in the upcoming weeks so you guys have some more to enjoy, and hopefully you can use that in your training as well. That's it, guys. Have fun. Take care. Talk to you guys next time.